right, guys. Welcome back to the LGS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Lots to dive into and discuss into what's going on in the Apex Legend esports world right now. We've got some drama with a player getting banned right before some of the matches were supposed to start for him. Unfortunate stuff that we're going to cover. And actually, it's happened before. What is going on with Apex and why does Battlefy continuously do this where are the explanations also we've got to talk about group matches that are going on today group b versus c took place last night for a scrim result but that's not the match you're going to see today a lot of people were getting that confused and asking me or asking me what time group b plays today they do not play today it's tomorrow they're supposed to be playing we got back-to-back -back days here group a versus c will be playing tonight we'll walk you through those teams also emea is already playing as we speak we'll give you maybe a little bit of a live update score going on right there as i'm recording and then also apex south has already completed as well let's talk about who did good which teams are struggling if you want to stay up to date with all things going on in the apex legends esports world of course like the video subscribe to the channel and let's dive into today's sponsor glitch energy thank you for sponsoring today's video this is cosmic candy whoops if you'll focus in there i don't normally like candy flavors because they're too sweet but cosmic candy is a little bit of a twist got a little sour action going on so i really recommend it use code jmiles get your 20 percent discount helps the channel out a ton and directly and let's dive into what's going on last night disguised absolutely dominated in the scrims again and i gotta give him credit because i did not rank this team as like my top five power rankings and i just said i gave him an honorable mention and the reason was because they were very inactive in the off season they just simply weren't playing as much so it was hard to know how good they were going to be and well they're they're better than what i thought i will say that another top five finish for them this is like not this is not uh, uncommon for them at all these guys have been popping off lately in a first place last night for them as well so really good work for disguise the boys have just been absolutely crushing it also e8 in second place once again got to give it to them because a lot of people are still yeah they're just wondering when is e8 gonna fall off right they just keep thinking every day is a fluke but when it happens this much they're here they're here to stay it's over e8 is one of the top teams now then you've got dark zero is one the top three no surprise there so these were your scrim results last night now we look at the schedule and if you haven't seen this already this is what minus tempo put together of course the green are scrims they have re uh, i think rescheduled all scrims to be 6 p.m eastern now to kind of you know replicate what's going on in the actual pro scene as well and so yes today is the 27th saturday you're going to have group a versus c that's the tsm lg group going up against the furia xset group all that stuff and we'll walk through these teams in just a second and then group b versus c which is the scrim set that you just saw uh in tomorrow's video so before we get into those uh teams specifically let's talk about the drama going on this was another 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 i think what fifth fourth one a band that you're having right before matches start so this is coming from labors saying today one hour before the challenger started i saw that i was banned unfairly i asked for everyone's help so that my band can be lifted and i can play the south american challenger however i'm trying to get help because everyone of course this is my dream he's tagging everybody looking for help and it's sad stuff because i'm like dude this is not the first time it happened it happened to someone a couple of uh, weeks ago whenever we did psq and they never got an explanation some people apparently it turned out it was a ban and it was rightfully deserved but there was another guy that they uh they had actually addressed that it was an ip issue like they just it was like an automatic automated ban and they didn't even unban them before that you know it was supposed to happen it's like dude what is going on like you've got to get this stuff figured out man and it's really sad that they don't get an explanation my biggest issue with this i don't I, we do have people sometimes that come out and they're like oh free my guy he's, he's innocent whatever and it turns out he's a cheater he was uh you know boosting whatever that did happen by the way but there's other times where they're innocent right and my my biggest complaint here is we need an explanation instead of just banning and people getting no help they need a a direct support system that they can go to a live chat to get an answer or get an email here's why you were banned here's what you can do to be unbanned there's none of that we don't get any communication in all of this and it's super frustrating and then of course you get more confirmation on this as well another algs coach saying a ban with no reason or explanation on algs day again they didn't even do it the day before uh to be able to find a solution let's hope it can be resolved so that he can participate in cc this team has been training so hard for this another l for apex esports and it is sad because it has been happening quite a bit now let's go over the algs pro league uh results this is from apex south last night team serenity took the dub and these guys have uh honestly it was really really close i like how it wasn't super top heavy unlike north america serenity 78 wonton dumpling 74 the team that i gotta give credit to that i saw the most and i, I they just were popping off every time i was watching them was ibg iron blood gaming of course a really well-known team at lan as well ibg did incredible in a third place victory 
not too shabby for those boys either lightning unicorn still up there team burger which you guys know we've been rooting for uh with pricey and sharky back on the same team in here as well and ways on that squad as well team uh, seventh place legends gaming former black hand normally uh you know i guess they give some kind of an excuse here if you guys don't know straight flame had eye surgery not long ago and he hasn't been playing in over a month because he's trying to heal so you know eighth place still not too bad and then mdy as well a lot of teams that you know and love here i didn't really see a team that like we all know besides mdy white i guess that just didn't play good at all most of these guys for to some degree had a solid day and not too shabby indeed now also want to mention apac north group a versus c that's going to be taking place pretty soon you guys know a lot of these teams reject of course riddle esports north option pulverex fanatic all like i can't wait to watch apac north man apac north is going to be such a good night tonight because this is like all of the top teams that got in this one group a versus c is going to be an absolute bang out like this is all the s tier organizations over in apac north battling it out today and then also the emea scene have just started right now there's like literally the first game hasn't even happened so sadly we're not going to be able to get a live score update but e6 currently the number one team in the emea scene two rats one controller cyber cats is another team you got they're not talked about that much but this team has done really great work in some of these like aurora 10ks they got a top three in there as well so really look out for cyber cats these guys are a really good squad that do not need to be underestimated also you've got passion red dragon 40 percent worse playing in this go next aurora a lot of good teams in this one as well lcdf and uh, uh phoenix legacy i think i know as well vex also i know this is the team that i think had a lot of drama around their name not long ago so we will see how these teams uh actually you know perform in just a couple of hours now going into north america i think you all know this one tsm so group a here at the top tsm lg still don't know why lg doesn't have their logo on here but of course this is the slayer sweet nathan roster and uh and funk oxygen esports dno skirt i'm looking for this team to really have a good day albert Lelly has been doing very good in my opinion as an igl for this squad and i'm rooting for the underdog man i'm just i want a new team to win and i want an underdog to win so really happy for them flat is another team which by the way a little bit of a, a notion here flat has signed with an esports organization so i'm pretty excited about this they have posted all their contract stuff signing that announcement should be coming out soon so really interested to see where they land also native gaming i'm really they need another good night because a lot of teams are are, are really uh they're doubting native quite a bit and i and i mean really they, a lot of people are saying native is just needing to chalk it up and nuke this roster because they don't believe in them i like the team personally i feel like native gaming right now is a team that is like a brotherhood kind of thing they all believe in each other they like each other i want them to have a good night and so hopefully they can put things together and gks is another team now chaotic much is going to be stepping in don't forget that sleepy panda was only there for the first week in order to get this roster qualified now chaotic much is going i'm sorry now uh naughty stay naughty is going to be stepping in to this roster so that should be a really nice team in addition to those guys disguised of course we know timmy uh designful and enemy the number one team from scrims last night we'll see if they can actually put it into pro league this is going to be their first set of pro league matches don't forget now that we're in group c group c has not played yet this is their first day of of showing here legacy everybody's looking at legacy former lg roster and now don't forget what's gonna be nice is lg is gonna be playing up against legacy which is the former lg squad that you know that they play they got that drop four so really interested to see how this one goes sentinels is another team that has been really consistent oddly but they're not talked about that much you know that people don't really believe in them uh like they should and they've been kind of showing good results except will except be able to convert the scrim results and how dominant they have been in the number one team into being a actual pro league top team as well or is it just going to be scrims that they're good in furia i think everybody's looking at furia they had a not so good showing last night you could see down here in 16th place and a lot of people you know not trying to throw shade but a lot of people are saying furia has not seen as good of days as they did when vaxlon was on that roster and his watson obviously has got a lot of he's got big shoes to fill vax is no uh no sorry low down player he's a very good talented player and so these guys are gonna have to put it together now furia has seen good days don't want to you know discredit them at all so will furia be able to do that meat lovers also have been consistently getting better in scrims are they going to be able to show that today or is uh pro league going to be not so good for them moist esports also had a bad day yesterday Re i mean bad day two days ago a really good day yesterday so a lot of storylines here to see which one 
actually battle it out to be the number one team on the night make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date with all things going on in the apex legends esports world and until the next time we'll see you all later gators